Hi there, my smarty pants. It's me, Ms. Mason, and we're going to talk about Basquiat, our lesson that we're actually going to do, okay? So, I have paper copies of everything, and here, let's look first at our criteria. Your artwork must have at least one face, at least one symbol and one word, swatches of three or more colors, and two or more types of materials used. Criterios. Tu obra de arte debe tener al menos una cara, al menos un símbolo y una palabra, palabra, muestras de tres o más colores, dos o más tipos de materiales utilizados. Okay. Materials. Any paper, but thicker is better. I'm using copy paper. Yeah, it's okay. White, gray, or color paper will work too and any art materials you have at home. So think about markers, crayons, colored pencils, watercolor paint, acrylic tempera paint, paint brushes, water in a paint cup, oil pastels, chalk pastels, and last, dice if you have one, okay? If you don't have dice, put the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six on pieces of paper and draw them out of a cup randomly, okay? Materiales que necesita. Cualquier tipo de papel. Más grueso es mejor. Blanco o gris, el color también funciona. Ok. Cualquier material artístico que tengas en casa. Marcadores. Lápices del color. Lápiz, lápices de colores. Pintura de acuarela. Pintura acrílica o tempera. Pinceles. Agua en taza de pintura, pasteles al óleo, tiza pastel o dados si tienes uno. Okay? All right. So, there's our materials and our criteria. Now, let's go ahead and play the game. Okay? So, I've got the steps here and I've got Rolla Basquiat. Okay? So, step one, take your dice and roll it. Try not to let it fall off the table. Okay? Five. All right. Then you're going to look at the Basquiat picture. So I got number five. So I'm going to draw eyes. I'm going to make my nose and mouth like that. I'm going to put some details like that. And my emotion is going to be fear. Okay. So you look at this paper to see what you're going to start with. Fear. Oh my goodness. Okay. So. I need to go ahead and start that. So I'll start on this paper right here. There we go. Okay, so I need my eyes. And there's no colors. Doesn't say I can't use any colors, does it? So it looks like I've got kind of a circle. Eyeballs in the middle. Oh, I just broke my crayon. Oh my. Jeez. Okay. And another eyeball. Okay. I'm going to change colors now. Now my nose. Okay. And then for my mouth, I'm going to use green. Mouth. And then we've got some of these little squares. I think those represent teeth. What do you think? And then another rectangle below that. Okay. And then I need some of these little hatch marks. Remember those? Okay. So I've got my eyes, got my nose and mouth. Now I need these things. Okay. So it looks like five lines. One, two, three, four, five. With a line through it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And fear. So my emotion is fear. I'm going to use a different colored crayon. There's my word fear. Okay. All right. Step two. It's time for your paint or any wet materials. Fill up the page with colors. Color outside the lines. Don't be neat. Use red, yellow, blue, white, and black. So I grabbed my markers for this because I want to show you a trick. If you don't have paints, 
you can still have fun with a paint brush and some water and some markers. Okay, so I said to fill up my page and be messy, color outside the lines, and use these colors. So I don't have a white marker. I'm just going to leave pieces of my paper white. Okay, so I'm going to start with my yellow. And let's see, I'm just going to color right over that nose and into the mouth. Okay, and then I'm going to take my paintbrush, get it wet, and just put that water right on there. Okay, and it should start smearing that marker just a little bit. Now, something to be careful about, if you keep putting water on the same spot, okay, <laughs> my paper's doing pretty well. Oh, there, it's starting to get wrinkly. Oh, now it's starting to get bumpy. You guys see that? Those little bumps there, little bits of paper that are coming up. And if I keep working on it, it will tear a hole. Oh, we're almost there. Yes, I'm trying to tear a hole in my paper to demonstrate. Uh, maybe a little more water. Oh, there it goes. There's my hole. Okay, so be careful how much water you use. All right, that's okay. So I'm adding some red. I'm going to add some more water to this. Make it smear a little bit, make it blend. Okay. And I'm going to color that. Okay, and I'm going to put some more yellow down here. Yeah, I'm putting it right on that damp paper. Oh dear. Okay, lid, you have to stay on. Add some more water to that. Okay. So I'm just starting to have a little bit of fun with it. I'm adding extra shapes. I'm going to the edge of the paper. Okay. Cleaning my brush in between colors. Oh, that black smears pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna double check my my thing. Okay, it's time for your paint or wet materials. Fill up the page with colors. Color outside the lines. Don't be neat. Use red, yellow, blue, white, and black. Clean your brush between each color. Wash, wash, wash. Wash, wash, wash. Push, push, push. And then get a new color. Be careful of making your colors muddy. Okay, well, I'm not worried about that. Ooh, look at the way the black is bleeding here. Okay, I'm going to get my crayons out again. I'm going to add some more crayon color. Okay, and I'm going to check my criteria again too. One face, at least one symbol and one word. There's my word. Oh, I need a symbol. Hmm, what's a good symbol for fear? Ooh, lightning. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to put a bunch of water on that. Okay, and then I'm going to put my marker in there. Oh, look at that. It's like I'm turning my marker into paint. Okay, we're going to leave that. Let that dry a little bit. It's not super exciting yet, but it could be. Uh, I'm going to get this orange. Okay, and throw some blue in there. Okay, let's see if I can add some more red now that my water is soaking in a little bit more. Hope I didn't kill my red marker. I don't think so. Let's just try it somewhere else. Yeah, red's okay. 
just needed some encouragement, like so many of us. All right, we'll let the red marker sit for another minute. I'm going to dip it in the water just a little bit. Let that sit. Okay, I'm going to add some more water. Because I think it's fun to kind of paint with the marker. Okay, so let's see. I've got my face. I've got a symbol. I've got a word. Swatches of three or more colors. I've got lots of color on here. Two or more types of material. So I've got crayons and markers and water. What else could I add? Let's see. I'm looking around. Um, huh. All I have handy is markers and crayons. That's okay. We'll just stick with that. I mean, technically the water is a thing too, right? So I'm just going to keep adding. Okay, I'm going to tear my paper there if I'm not careful. It could be like a tornado, couldn't it? Add some more water there. Okay. Oh, look at how the crayon is resisting. That's pretty cool. I'm going to do some more of that. Let's see. Black. It's coloring right over my word, right over my hashtag. And then when I put water on it, it cleans it right off that crayon. Oh my, that's kind of fun. Okay. All right, so I think I need to let this dry because step three, after it's dried, go back in with the crayons, oil pastels, chalk pastels, black marker, black and white paint, trace and add words or lines, bring out the parts you like, sign your name at the bottom. All right, so it does say to do more after it's dry and it's still pretty wet yet. So I am going to write my name with a crayon. And then later I can paint over that. I'm going to keep adding on this after it's dry. So that's what we've got so far. And then after it's dry, I'll put the picture of it at the end. Okay, so have fun, guys. Lots of layers, lots of colors, lots of different things. Okay, have fun with it. Okay, bye.